Welcome back here. So the San Diego Festival of Science and Engineering Expo, it's back at Petco Park this weekend. It's a free event. So we have a lot of people joining us here in studio to talk about the event, the things we'll get to see. Let's start with Sarah from Generation Steam. Sarah, this is a big deal for this weekend. What will you guys be doing? Taking over Petco? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. We're so excited to be down back at Petco yeah. Park with Expo Day. It's our 15th anniversary this year. Like you said, it's a free event, no registration or tickets required. All day, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Nice. Come on down. We have over 100 hands-on activities and booths. We have live stage performances happening on two different stages throughout the day. And just come on down and learn about science, technology, engineering, arts, and math, and meet these amazing companies and organizations that are based here in San Diego, yeah. but they're doing work and making impact on a global scale. That's awesome. And I will say, I mean, we have so many bright minds in San Diego. It's awesome to see that being recognized. And these brains are in one place <laughs> all together. Tell us who this is catered for. I mean, who should come? What age group are we talking here? Yeah, we like to say pre-K to gray. Pre so come on down with your family. Four year old? Yes. yes. Okay. So we have a pre-K zone um, and we have activities for all ages at all the booths. So definitely come down as a family and learn together. Yeah, the whole family comes. And I mean, to be able to introduce young people, obviously, to all the cool stuff that we're going to show. We're we have a few demos that we want to uh, talk about here. So first of all, you're with Illumina. Correct. Tell me your first name again. I'm Sharon. Sharon, thank you. Uh, Sharon, you have an interesting demo that we're going to get into. DNA and this looks like Plinko. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> it's an interesting combination. Yeah. So I'm here with Illumina and Illumina is based here in San Diego. Yeah. We are about to celebrate our 25th anniversary. Wow. Congrats. And thank you. <laughs> we are a leader in genomics and okay. that's the technology that matches um, bio and technology and healthcare. And so what you'll see at the festival this weekend is activities to teach you about genomics and about okay. DNA. For people who don't know what genomics is, what's like the easiest way that you describe it? It is the building blocks of all living things. Amazing. Yeah, so okay. you'll get to dress we up like that. a... Exactly, yeah. <laughs> and for all ages, we have the ability for you to dress up like a scientist or to solve a mysterious Ooh. rare disease using DNA clues or to play a game like PCR Plinko. Okay, so let's play Plinko. Yeah, Do you want to show us how absolutely. this works? Absolutely. <laughs> so PCR actually stands for polymerase um, chain reaction. Okay. And you've probably heard that term from COVID or PCR COVID polymerase. testing. Polymerase, yes. I didn't realize that's how you even pronounce yeah. it. Yeah. Good to know. And what it does <laughs> is it uses um, duplication of DNA techniques. And so okay. it's used for virus um, detection and a lot of other things. But it's based on the idea that there are these base pairs or proteins, and they only play with special friends. So okay. the A's, which is just A, T, C, and G, that's the first letter of their names. Okay. A's will only play with the T's, C's will only play with the G's, and those base pairs allow us to create some patterns, okay. and that enables the duplication of DNA to happen. So for the kiddos, what we do yeah. is we have them play Plinko. So if you want to do a little demo, <laughs> sure, sure. we'll yeah. pretend this is the A oh, God, red protein. You get the orange. Yep, and All you'll right. drop it in, and we're going to hope that it's going to end up with its match, its special friend oh, that see. it pairs. So. I'll just plop it in wherever. Yeah. Like good old Plinko. I don't think I've played this for many, many years. A and C. Perfect. Okay. So that one wasn't that quite a match, but it will <laughs> teach the kiddos, and it's the a fun way. The importance of matching that. Okay. Exactly. I, I don't want to run out of time, because we have Rick also yes. here with Alex. Hello. Tell me who you're with, first of yeah, all. Yeah, so we're with General Atomics, yeah. a group here that does nuclear fusion research for the Department of Energy. Whoa. And we're very <laughs> pleased to represent okay. the more than 100 exhibitors that uh, Sarah mentioned over there. Yeah. And <laughs> what it, what is this, this case, project you're doing? So we've got some states of matter here. We work with a state of matter called fusion, okay. but we also work with liquid nitrogen and a few other things. And these are always good demos for students, for the public to see, yes. to understand the safety involved, as well as some cool things. Tell we can us do. what Alex just poured in this. So Alex is going to pour some of this liquid nitrogen. Now it's in minus 196 <laughs> degrees C. It's very, very cold. Okay. Colder than the mountains are today. We thought it was cold outside. But yes, nope, this is very, very cold. Now scientists like to do scientific methods. We like to observe. We like to ask questions. And mm -hmm. part of that is what he's going to do here. He's going to pour this water, colored water, in here. We're going to ask: Whoa. Is the water more dense? or less dense than the nitrogen. Uh, if it's more dense, more the water dense. will be on the bottom. Yeah. If it's less dense, it'll be floating. Oh. So this is a very simple idea of the scientific <laughs> method. We do the experiment, we have a hypothesis, wow. we do the experiment, we observe again. If we have to, we, we re-modify our uh, hypothesis. Okay, so, so is that's that right? Is it less dense it, the, or more dense? It's, the <laughs> nitrogen was less dense. The okay. water went to the bottom. The water went to the uh, bottom. And it actually froze. So we think of ice typically. This is typically, so cool. Yeah, typically. That it's okay uh, to 
floating, but it doesn't do that. <laughs> and then we also have some liquid. Wow. We had the liquid nitrogen. We also have some ionized gas. So we'll talk to students about uh, elements in the periodic table, uh, much like you were talking about the uh, uh, DNA over there. Yeah. And this happens to be neon light, where kids have seen neon light from lots of places. Okay. But it's, uh, it's a plant of ionized gas. Ionized gas. Sorry, Rick. I know with the buzzing, it's hard to hear your microphone. Okay. Uh, so but that is fascinating. It's ionized <laughs> gas. And our, at our work, we heat gas like this, deuterium, up to well over 100 hundred million degrees. Amazing. And you allow these particles you. to fuse. The fact that you were able to talk and do this project, Alex, great job. Thank you all very <laughs> much for the demos here. This is a small piece of what will be happening at Petco Park on Saturday. Great to see you all. Great.